for another video, and we got a new guest with us. We have a surprise guest that I invited to the chat because God knows this thing needs something. Hey, everybody. It's, uh, it's Bill Cosby. Yeah. Because we played the Super Metro and realized you going through the lava, which is like Jello Pudding. <laughs> Jello Pudding Pops, hell yeah. Jello Pudding Pops, Zip Zap Zura. I have no it's idea where the fuck I am. I mean, I oh, do, yeah, it's, but. It's just me. It's diabetes who may or may not be paying attention, but who gives a shit because. Hey, diabetes, you know, it's, diabetes. It's diabetes, and he us automatically. Diabetes, safe state. Yeah, I'll just randomly mash the F2 button. For okay, good. That's all we you'll need. Be as, you'll be as effective as I am, and I'm actually watching. <laughs> Wait, dude, how many times did you miss that missile? Like six? <laughs> a that lot. Was sweet. Oh, yeah, come on. Just make fun of him because you can be pretty sure he's fucking up somewhere. Alright, gray door and a pink door. Which one are you going through? Gray door! We're fucking pink, dude. Look, pink is like, like, fucking light red. That is not light red. That is. Or, that is light red, rather. That is pink. It's purple. No way in hell. Is that are we purple? Ridley yet? Are no. we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Mom. Oh god! Right. Acid! Is Sam is Sam is oh shit! Well, we're pink. He's an acid. I don't know. <laughs> oh god, no! I hear the uh, really cool, dramatic Northrum music. So are you in Lower Northrum? Yes. Wait, we're in East Northrum? I've Northern? lost. I've lost track. I don't know. Ah, oh, fucking acid! So you were in West Northrum before? Apparently. Fuck! Have you have you have, have you torn down the Northrum wall yet? Yeah. Break down that wall, Mr. Axial. I would, but I suck too much at this game. Spin jump, <laughs> screw attack through that wall, Mr. Axial. <laughs> you know I can't do that. <laughs> but thank God, spin. But thank God, screw attack's like automatic, or else you really would not be able to do it. <laughs> okay, I'm surprised he does it, man. Hey, weren't you there for that video where I was like, "How do I do the screw attack?" Yeah! No, I wasn't there for that because you recorded like one in the yeah, no, no. fucking Wednesday. Yes, I was asleep. I oh yeah, it was that like, video. Oh, fucking! It's always the mark of a good video when your commentators fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Let's just we just assume here. everybody fast forwards through like everything but like five minutes of this anyway, so... That's a pretty safe assumption. Jeez, God damn it. It's not that hard to get across the acid. Dude, it's no, I'm trying to. I don't have enough beer wanna, in my refrigerator. I want to refill my uh, energy tank, my reserve tanks, rather. I don't have enough beer at my local brewery to get through this. <laughs> Seriously, I might have to make another run up to the convenience store. <laughs> well, we're refilling reserve tanks now, so that's why it was taking so long because I was trying you to want do it. Want a fucking idiot, cookie? But... Yes, I do. You can refill reserve tanks. Good for you, buddy. Actually, I'll just keep going left to get to the freaking. You have 300 by now, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yes, you do. But so I'm, not no, I need missiles. Time it's Ridley. Yeah, I'm gonna need missiles. God damn it, there's gonna be plenty of time to refill. But so let me ask you, Diabetes, did you enjoy the Parallel Worlds videos or were they just painful for you? I would say it is one of those combination sort of things, like the kind of pain that kind of feels good, kind of like, you know, an emo kid cutting himself, kind of good. Oh, damn it! Why did okay, I do I this? Just, I just want to make sure, yeah, okay, because I want to make sure I wasn't being abnormal here by just feeling horrible, horrible pain. Yeah. I mean, Still. yeah, at first it's like, oh my god, this is terrible, I want to die, but then later on it kind of feels good and get used to it, and then I find myself ble bleeding into my bathtub because it feels so good. Just that kind of stuff. Missing a few kidneys? Yeah. A, a few? I actually don't watch these <laughs> you don't, videos. You don't need I just, those. As a, a few as in more than two? <laughs> yeah. He, he like, uh, he cut out like six kidneys for the video. That's amazing. He's got a lot of kidneys. He went to the black market to get more just so he cut them out. Oh, hey, look, doors. They're red. Which one do I go through? There's two of them. Dude, just pick one. Jesus Christ. No, I'm going through this. Why don't you stop the video here and post a thread and say, Hey, guys, which door should I go through? <laughs> <laughs> Choose your own adventure. Oh, ah, spikes! What should, I, what should I do now, guys? Hey, what should I name my character? <laughs> Zero nude sandals. Yeah. You should name her Sam. Actually, you went left, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yes. How do you know? 
Did, was that How wrong? Do you know? That was wrong, wasn't it? I'm supposed to go right, aren't I? Oh, I always fuck this up. Find out. Call your heart. Dude, what? How many guys? Oh, is stop it? killing these guys. Nobody wants to watch Brody, this. Brody, have you played Metroid 1? Yeah, like briefly. Oh, never played it. Until I realized it oh, wasn't. Oh, what the hell? Until I realized it wasn't. Use the X ray scope, you idiot. Free design. <laughs> I want to make a comment now. <laughs> what the fuck? Does either one of you get it? Basically, the area that uh, Axial is in. I don't right get now it, or is... I wouldn't be here on a Friday night watching him play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, Metroid. fucking listen to me. Axial's in an area that I recreated from the original Metroid game. It's supposed to be the Ridley's layer. Huh? So you're lazy. Uh. I what the fuck? Holy shit, dude. I highly recommend for everybody's safety, uh, they stop playing the drinking game at this point. It's gonna get real bad real fast. I'm reminded of the Parallel Worlds drinking game. What? I remember that. Not as dead. Th this one's more uh, deadly. Did I rip you off without even thinking about it? Uh, I doubt it. I mean, I was on Bypass for a while. Oh, okay. Bypass? Yeah. From all the alcohol poisoning. Oh, okay. I liver. participated in the game, of course. You had to get a liver transplant. Like yeah. Ones. Like after they put the new liver in, it immediately failed. I was like, you know, it'd be clever a drinking game, and then you're like, oh, I already did that. And I'm like, god damn it. I steal ideas without even realizing it. Okay, now I went right, and I could go through that door. Uh, what would happen if you went up? He came from up. He would probably die. He came. That's a pretty safe bet. Get there, what, there's lava on the ceiling? Probably. No, it's, there's poison tip spikes. You've watched these videos, kinda. I mean, you realize how fucked up Rusev is. Got the lava. Is that right? Uh, uh yeah, there, well, there's there's acid. Lava doesn't hurt him anymore. Now acid is the big guy. Yeah, uh, that's right. That's right. Oh, what the hell? You just dropped down a little red shaft on the side, and now you're in spitting fire. Did you say little red shaft? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Right, aren't I? Um, yeah, he's going through some places, and now he's. This actually kind of looks like Mother Brain's lair a little bit. Hey, actually, if you went back right, you might be able to find a hidden passage. <sighs> Don't tell him that. Um, never we'll be here mind. forever. Oh, God! Right. What a subtle hint. Yeah, we'll be here forever. He's just gonna end up back where the grapple beam was. It's a waste of time, anyways. Well, he's traveling unexplored territory. I like how Axel's commentaries turned into just random cries random and pain. Profanity. <laughs> <laughs> why? Oh, God, why? I mean, at first it was like, first it was like, alright, so this is a Super Metroid redesign. It's pretty hard hack. I'm gonna fail ah, a few times, and now it's. That, yeah. <laughs> oh, fix shit, fuck, fuck, shit, cunt. My dude. Yeah. Oh, shit. We still love you, Axel. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till we get to Ridley. Oh, God. What happened? What are you doing right now? Oh, uh, he's at this really big thing. He's got a he's got a bomb jump over to get to a blue door. Oh, I just did it. I'm good. It. Bomb jump over to a blue door. Why? He had to I do not recall that. It's a big blockade that you can only get up with a morph ball. And... He's uh, he's cheating oh, on you. Oh, I get it. Spring ball and then single bomb jump. Yeah. I hate, yeah. hate to tell you this, Drew, Seth, but I think he's cheating on you and playing other Metroid ROM hacks. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know? God, no. Yeah. Were there any other Super Metroid ROM hacks that didn't, like, you know, replace Samus with a naked Pamela Anderson or something? Super Metroid I Impossible. I don't know how good they were. Well, I played them all. You played them all, but you don't know how good they were. Well, I just, they were too Oh, hey, missiles. this is familiar. Hey, super missiles. He got super missiles. Yeah. I, uh... I think I went the wrong way. You got super missiles, didn't you? So yeah, I don't care. yeah, but that's not Ridley. Ah, damn it. Might be, you never know. Maybe he changed Ridley into a pack of super missiles. <laughs> No, that, that that would never happen. Have yeah. you seen that Good Times video on Newgrounds? No. No. There's like a hilarious clip where it's like it shows Link from Zelda picking up a big key, and then it shows Samus running on screen saying. Is it like actually Link. funny, or is it the kind of funny that like the person who designed Super Metroid redesign would think was? No, no, it's actually random funny. If you like random humor. I don't like random humor. Then fuck up. <laughs> random humor. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh -huh. What do you think about football, Adrusa? Football? Yes. I find it boring. Oh. Wrong answer. I just, I don't understand the 
purpose of watching two teams try to help the ball get to one side of the field. I like to watch burn sweaty men crap. Is that why you didn't make the morph ball look like a football in the heck? Uh, actually, I changed the sprite to match more with zero mission or crap. So basketball. I'm going back. I'm going yeah, back don't to the, the charger. Questions? Wait, where, where's Axial going? Well, you had your like. Uh, long okay, there's interview a gray door on the left, already. blue door on the right. I want to go back to the charger. Oh, no, I don't. God. Fucking waste more time. Right. No, I don't. That's too far away. I thought it was closer. You've got like five energy tanks left. That's not a lot. Not for you. For somebody competent, it's plenty. I'm not competent, I'm sorry. Alright, what happened to you using your frickin' x-ray beam? He's going back to that area you told him to go to. Uh, Isn't the x-ray beam useless? Not in this game. We thought it might be useless. Would get to use it to see Samus' underpants? <laughs> that would be sweet. No only Drew said it. Did, didn't you say the first thing you did was like remove more of, of Samus' clothes? That's everybody's. They just find her so yeah. make her naked. Uh -huh. Yeah, Drew says sister was um, a big inspiration in making this game. <coughs> There's nothing down Seriously, here. Hey, does your sister look like Samus? Because I would totally hit that. Uh, no. I hit it. There's nothing I'd down here. Sister. She probably looks like. Hold, hold it. She looks guys, like shut up. Let Axel yeah. talk. What? Yeah, oh, there is something here. I'm not what looking for. Nobody comes here to listen to him. Why don't you go through there? Because I want items. I want you to actually get good at this game. We can't always get what we want. I have 12 super missiles. Oh, good, good. Right. Oh, Axial, good. You know that big shaft that had a... Uh, okay. That, that's oh, yes. Cool. Okay, he went through. Tell me more. Remember you came out a door and there were two red doors. Okay, wait, wait. He just went through a blue door after he hit that thing with a super missile. Now the music is weird. Er, the quiet music. Oh, hey. Is that a Chosa Guardian? No. no. He's useless. What else would it be? That's where you got grapple beam. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Redesign. <laughs> Axial, get your ass back into Lower Norfair now. Wait, he's at this Chozo Guardian that doesn't seem to do anything. That's not a Chozo Guardian. It's Give grapple. it a high five. Looks like a Chozo Guardian. He just said that's where I got the grapple beam. Is that really where you got the grapple beam? Axial, are you back in Lower Norfair? Yeah. He's past the grapple beam. Apparently. Was I in the video where you got the grapple beam? Because seriously, I don't watch anything that I'm not in. I don't remember. Like, no. all those videos that I'm in that have like a thousand hits, like 500 of those were mine. I just watch myself over and over again. Yeah, you're heading in the right direction. How do you, you know? know? I can hear things. It's fucking Axial, dude. He's not heading in the right direction. Because he's directly. Oh god, acid! He's an acid. Dude. Dude, I see things. Lights. How come when you, um. in your hack, when Samus oh, goes there we go. that are full of acid, why didn't you replace the music with Pink Floyd music? That would have been sweet. Hey, save point. Dark side of the, uh, Samus. Mm hmm. Aha, you found it. We found a save spot, which means Ridley's probably close. If I can't recharge energy before Ridley, this is going to be not good. Dude, you've got I, most I recommend of not losing your HP. HP? What, what, uh, what is this sound. thing? That's a very Sorry. wise recommendation. What the fuck Ooh, are these a things? Fucking role playing game? No. Dude, I, 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 I suggest that you're at least level 12. What the hell? Like Ridley. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, he changed the Ridley fight so it's turn based. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only way I actually would be any good at this. What? What are these? He'd still fuck it up. Like, I want to use an item every round. That'll work. <laughs> what are these things? I don't know, but you can fucking spin jump. It's called a rom hat. Those are puffers. I think they'll be holders. They're, they're brown though. Oh god, did I just did I just yeah. say something? Oh, what the no. fuck? Did I see Spikes. beholders? I I don't know what a beholder is. Seriously. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Spikes. Spikes. Watch it, never mind. <laughs> Watch out for those spikes. Yeah. Don't steal my line that I stole. Oh, from you. what the hell? <laughs> I have to. God damn it. Just fall down. Why don't you see if that maybe you can bomb through that maybe? Maybe. Just maybe. No, I have to go up top. This is that ROM hack. I know it. 
Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he went through this area and he got to. You know where he is? Yeah, I know where he is. Okay, he saw a gray door. Yeah, I know. He's seeing a bunch of uh, skiers. I don't. I, I forget what they're called. Skiers? Those what is he, an ass? Ski hunters. That's a he's skiers? He's in Norfair or Upper Colorado? Yeah, he's Ski in hunter. fucking Aspen playing this game. Oh, shit! Oh my god, dude. Good commentary. I. Uh, and, this... and here is the. Fuck, fuck! <laughs> And, uh, what the designer had in mind when he- FUCK SHIT! GOD DAMN IT! Drusuf, how does it feel to know that- FUCK! Because of you, people have put, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars in swear jars? <laughs> <laughs> I feel great. I've done my contribution to society. Mm. Well, the thing is, if, um... If Axel had a swear jar, he might have been able to buy his mom a better fucking birthday present than a MASH DVD. <laughs> MASH DVD? She yeah, you missed Smash. that. We found out that he, what he bought his mom for his her birthday. Today's his mom's birthday, and he bought her a fucking MASH DVD for her birthday. What kind of son are you to do He's that? He's the worst <laughs> son ever. Or the best. What? Hold on, hold on. Wanna know what I got my mom for her birthday? Uh, new dildo? A million dollars. Uh, Metroid redesign? Fifteen hundred dollar <laughs> HD TV. What? What? Cashing on that sweet redesign blue eye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, can I, I don't like it? anybody enough to get them that. I don't even like myself enough to get myself an HDTV. It's actually pretty good. 40, 48 inch. Why well, aren't you fucking special? Shut up. Nobody cares about you. What the fuck? What the fuck nothing. Oh, there's a dot here. Oh, there's a missile. Yay. And he actually managed to get it. Where is he? Oh, he got past that room? Yeah. Yeah, he's up at- he got that missile that's sitting up at the top. He's got two red doors, one left, one on the right. I'm gonna go right. Especially every time I, like, made myself a sandwich and grabbed it and held it above my head, it would play that music. Axial, <laughs> <laughs> you, you should do, see do, 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 Every time I picked up anything. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, that's- You got- watch. You, like, drop your pencil on the floor in class. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Sorry, guys, there's gonna be some music in a second. Yeah, uh, everything stops. <laughs> You get a little message. You got a pencil. <laughs> then I have to go into my menu and equip it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't work. If everything was like a turn-based RPG. Yeah. Or in Drusev's case, I have to hold down my run button. <laughs> yeah, I want to use my fucking pencil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I don't know where I am. <laughs> you have one energy tank. You oh God, do I? Serious? Oh Christ! Like, There's television. Didn't you have like five? Yeah. Seconds ago. He's got exactly 141 energy and his reserve tanks. And now and he's trying to fight Ridley? No, he's trying to spin jump kill these space pirates. He's got the Kung Fu space pirates now. 86, 81, 56. Oh, come on, you fought these things underwater without the gravity suit. You spin attack be a doesn't work, dude. Are they the screw are they uh the Kung Fu Pirates? Yeah, they're the Kung Fu Pirates. That'd be a great name right. for a band. I don't think they are. Uh, reserved. They're Kung Fu Pirates, dude, seriously. They're doing flips around them? Yes. They turn um, yellow? Yes. Cool. He's got... Uh, Your hack has become self-aware, Drusa. He's got 200 <laughs> energy and no reserve tank. The Axial's moving faster than I thought, so... That's why I was kind of blown Oh, well, don't worry about it, because he's about to die. The Red Warrior needs food badly. Hey, hang on. How many super missiles, missiles, and power bombs do you have right now? Uh, right now he's got 137 missiles, 4 super missiles, 11 power bombs. How many and grappling beams do you have? He needs a 6 super missiles. <laughs> he's got 4 beamoses, and, uh, he's got the boomerang. <laughs> Actually, you hear us? Yeah. All you red, need is 6 red more super missiles. Dude, you um, need 20 silver arrows and the master sword. Wait, wrong game. Parallel redesign. <laughs> Parallel redesign. <laughs> Okay, now I only have two super missiles. What the hell's he doing? I don't know, he's shooting shit. He just opened he just opened a green door on the floor. And now now he went down it and he sees another save chamber. Tell me more. So where can I get these? Would you like to see more? Click here. Kill Samus and win an Xbox 360. Oh, I I'd be great at that one. Okay, he went left and he got to a blue door and he shot it open and then he decided not to go in it. Yes. Now he's going back to the right to go to a gray door. Oh god, yes. He's got the special weapon that lets him open a gray door. 
Oh my god, he just bomb hacked his way through. He's at Mother Brain. <laughs> Shooting missiles at Mother Brain. Oh, oh, oh. Brody is Mother Brain is invincible. I'm so very close. Shit. The brain is pulsating rapidly. Uh, so is my. Uh, sorry. Sensually. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, he has 272 energy and no reserve tanks. And he keeps falling in lava, so that number's going down. Going down much like Drew Seth's sister. <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's right there. I'm using the grapple beam now. He's using the grapple beam. Just go through the door. But there's Don't no, exhaust your supply. There's no grapple squares here. Grapple squares? Are you playing Scrabble? Yeah. He's not a triple grapple square. Nice. I'm getting super missiles. I have nine now. Wow. Do you want a fucking cookie? You're getting hit. You're getting hit by the weakest enemies in the game. Congratulations. The little porcupine things? No, the little things that come out that are just meant to refill energy, but it's actually taking energy away from him because he sucks. Mm. Now I have 12 super missiles. And I'm One filling up my energy. Missile. Ah, ah, ah. Two super missiles. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, how come you never sold redesign to the Sesame Street people? <laughs> <laughs> One reloaded state. Ah. Because, you know, you got some missiles that give you two, some that give you ten, some that give you five. Like, he's just counting. Yeah, the count would love this game. No, even the count would be like, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, the count's like, this game sucks. Ha, ha, ha. How much fucking health does he have? Mm. He's refilling. He's almost full. He's better off just doing a shine spark. <laughs> yeah, right. When did I actually learn to do shine sparks? Did I miss that? Uh, not shine sparks, crystal flash. Actually, have you done that yet? No, I should have. Because Why I can just link to the part in my Battletoads video where I do it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Totally, every, just totally steal your thread. Everybody oh, no. has done it. Everybody has done it but you, Axel. You know, actually, you could have just filled up right now. All you need is your HP to be under 50. Uh, HP, eh? HP. Energy. Energy, dude. Energy. Energy. It's not a role-playing game. Okay, just de-equip your gravity suit. You'll lose 20 defense. You have acquired gravity mail. How much energy does he have? Full. Full. Plus and full reserves. reserves. And another gray door. Oh, hey, this... Okay, this is totally Metroid 1. Oh, that's totally hey. fucking Ridley. I just heard a Ridley noise. Oh, God, what the hell? That's totally you Ridley. Tell me you saved Steve. Yes, that's I did. Raven. What? That Pass. is so Raven. He's at Ridley. Ridley out of fucking nowhere. Good. I've got a treat for you guys. I've been waiting right. for this. I beat us. Sit back and relax. Axial, keep quiet. You can curse if you want. I'm gonna shut up. You got it. I gotta get to good starting point. Fuck you, Ridley! The puddle of mud that Ridley soon found he had his hand in was whipped off the ground a heartbeat later, splattering onto Samus's visor. Samus reeled in surprise for Ridley, you're not even changing colors! Thick muck. And as she tried to hurriedly rub off the sticky slime from her visor, Ridley took whatever energy he had left in him to struggle to his feet and lunge at Samus with wide open jaws. His upper jaw grazed into Samus' left shoulder and his lower jaw snapped shut, tearing underneath Samus' ribcage. And with a vicious tug of his neck, Ridley felt his teeth tear into Samus' armor, feeling bones crush between his jaws. The two of them remained motionless, with Ridley beginning oh, to shit. the bitterness of blood gushing down his chin, and with Samus silently shivering. Suddenly, Samus collapsed to her knees, slowly sliding off of Ridley's jaw. Ridley thought he saw their eyes connect for just a split second before he felt Samus' already lifeless-looking suit become completely soulless. When Samus collapsed on her stomach and the last echo of her body hitting the rocky ground bounced out of the cavern, Ridley suddenly felt alone. Ridley oh no! Off his chin and from inside his mouth, spitting out again soon after. God, I even hate the taste of you, Ridley's mother. Oh shit! Body, flicking out the last of her blood between his teeth with his tongue. 
The odd sinking sensation he felt in his stomach began uh, to press lower, and Ridley could only wonder why. What the hell Being happened? a chief pirate, he had killed thousands of creatures like Please Sam restart before. ZSNES before starting a new netplay session. A uh, what? Hold on, everybody. Bring it. Yeah, now we are. Okay. Yeah, fucking Axial sucks. And we're back with more of a dramatic reading of Metroid fanfiction by Proteus. It's like Masterpiece Theater, but without the masterpiece. Yes. And without Take it away, theater. Proteus. All right, I can do that. Being a chief right. pirate, he had killed thousands of creatures like Samus before, but Shit. now he felt something different begin to swell up within him. Fuck. It's coming, folks. Loneliness. As soon as the word entered his mind, Ridley's eyes immediately focused on what used to be Samus. He was lonely. He was always lonely. He lost count how many years it had been since he had seen another of his kind, since he had seen someone other than a fellow pirate whom he had not killed without so much as a thought. Crouching over the body of his slain longtime enemy, Ridley tapped the back of Samus's helmet. Strong, brave. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta do Ridley's full voice right. Strong, brave, and living a lonely life, Ridley muttered. We could have been best of friends. Ridley wished with all of his heart that Samus would reply, but he got only an unnerving silence. Water droplets from miles away in the underground caverns echoed softly within the cave throughout the cavern. What? Anyway. And Ridley could only let his thoughts rhythm their beats as if as he looked at Samus's back. He wondered what it would have been what it would have happened if Samus was a fellow pirate. He wondered what would have happened if Samus was a dragon like himself. He wondered what would have happened if he and Samus were even friends. And when he wondered what could have happened if both of their loneliness got the better of them together, his stomach suddenly commenced. I'm gonna die! I wonder... Huh? I died. You died? Don't stop, keep going. Tell me you save stated. Yeah, I, I save stated as we we headed into the room. I got it. Save state as you fucking do the battle. Somebody's too busy reading fanfic. I I told you I had something special on it. How utterly vile. Ripley's brain scolded him. I know I'm a despicable space pirate, but I'm not that despicable. He looked at Samus's body and began to grow curious. He, yes, it's coming, guys, it's coming. He knew the various armors his former arch enemy wore well, but he never knew the creature within. Finding the stomach to ignore his better conscience, Ridley gingerly dragged his talon into and across the back of Samus' armor, splitting it from her shoulders to her waist. Ridley pulled apart oh, Samus' armor, seeing a soft pinkish skin underneath a simple blue leotard. By the way, I want everybody to remember, Samus is dead. <laughs> his curiosity now fully ensnared, Ridley sliced open the rest of Samus' armor and with seconds, Ridley had completely dissected Samus' armor into thin scraps of metal, scattering them around the cavern as he tore the armor apart. Soon, all that was left before Ridley was the lifeless body of Samus, a deep wound in her chest still bleeding heavily. The unarmored body of Samus looked like a completely different creature to him, and Ridley still wanted to see more. Ridley rolled oh, Samus onto wrong. her back, and her eye and his eyes suddenly locked on the face Damn of it. his dead Samus. <clears throat> Although her face was lined with faint, thin Can wrinkles. You load state. I'll load God, state. Dude, you're interrupting me. Oh, you died again. Uh huh, you suck. Yeah. Please keep going. Although her face was lined with faint, thin wrinkles, Ridley still noticed how beautiful her long blonde hair was tied neatly in a ponytail. Ridley gingerly reached up to Samus's face, stroking his claw across her cheek, feeling her skin to be surprisingly soft. I forgot I needed ZSNES up so you could load state. You're gonna have two monitors or... Me? Yeah. No, I've got Xenus Yes in the background. Alright. Ridley had always thought that humans had thick shell like skin, but that was based on how quickly his talons had sliced them apart. Ignoring Samus's bloody wound, Ridley's mind suddenly stopped once his eyes reached her chest. <laughs> no! Oh, no! Oh, oh, it gets better. This is tough. This is tough. I hope everybody appreciates this. <laughs> no. His mind quickly switched back to his loneliness. He began wishing for a female dragon more than he'd ever wished before, and just as Ridley was on the verge of breaking down with angst, a tiny voice in his head squeaked. There's a female lying down in front of you! <laughs> Ridley froze. How Holy utterly shit. vile! He screamed mentally to himself. 
But then, when Ridley looked at Samus one more time, he quickly found himself acting without thought. No! This work, this work is really hard to read. <laughs> oh god, no! Ridley, Ridley pulled back Samus' leotard, ripping off the torso, bearing Samus' breast. Ridley gazed at them, fascinated at her unique mammalian features. Her dark red nipples quickly caught his attention, and Ridley could only help but wonder why male humans like to stare at them so much. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god! Funny. With his in with his interest quickly lost, Ridley tore off the rest of Samus' leotard, and he was quick to spot what was universally recognized to all males in the universe. Ridley craned his neck down between Samus's legs, and as soon as he laid eyes upon Samus's vagina, Ridley briefly forgot his name. <laughs> it's not that long. I don't know what I'm talking about here, the story or Ridley's... Anyway, Ridley's brain was thinking without him. As soon as he saw the bright red flesh inside of her, Ridley felt his pulse throb towards his hips, forcing his... <laughs> Oh shit, I died again! Oh Jesus Christ, good, I need a break from this for a second. You know, actually, you're making the fucking fanfic happen. <laughs> I know! I know no, the only thing you're you making happen here is blue balls, finish the damn fanfic. Yeah, if you'd hurry up fucking beat him, I would just stop. Ridley's brain was thinking without him. Oh wait, I was already there. Oh. Uh, knowing this may be the last time he would ever see a female crotch of any species, <laughs> as long as he was a pirate, Ridley let all of the wind out of his lungs, waited until he could go no longer without air, shoved his nostrils against Sam's <laughs> moist vagina, <laughs> <laughs> and sucked in the deepest breath through his nose that he had ever had in his no! life. No! Yes. Oh god. Oh, Something no. within Ridley's mind suddenly snapped as soon as the scent of Samus invaded his nasal membranes. Oh god! <laughs> Ridley's body was on autopilot. With Why? With a spring of drool leaking out of the corner of his jaws, oh, no. <laughs> Ridley, th <laughs> Ridley thrust himself upon Samus, jamming himself into her body. She's dead! <laughs> yeah, she's dead. Ridley forced himself to thrust feverishly, <laughs> even though he was twice Samus' size, feeling Samus' insides. Twice? Yeah, twice. I thought it was more than that, too. Feeling Samus' insides stretch and tear from his thrusting. <laughs> Growling and huffing madly, Ridley quickly quickened his pace, pumping himself in and out of Samus like a machine gun. And then with a drool-filled howl, Ridley released himself, feeling his stomach deplete. Ridley came to a stop, panning and wheezing heavily. Once he had finally caught his breath and his heart steadied, Ridley slowly pulled Fuck. himself from Samus, collapsing on his backside as soon as they were separated. Damn it, load. I'm almost done here. I want to shoot my load. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Good. It's coming. Ridley felt <laughs> Ridley felt his erection still tickling in still ticking in the air like a metronome. Watching his semen ooze out of Samus's <laughs> torn up and bloody vagina. Pressing his penis towards the ground, Ridley waited until it had shrunk back down before getting back to his feet. Looking back at Samus, Ridley suddenly felt disgusted with himself, a feeling of almost forgotten about several years. Um, and then it kind of stops. Thank God. It just trails off? Yeah, he, he's already... But then the final sentence, forcing his eyes off of Samus' body, Ridley stretched his wings and took to the air. Oh, oh. so it ends on a sentimental note. It ends on a sentimental note. We all feel for Ridley. Yeah, you can see Ricky dead body. <laughs> hey, I can't hear you, Drusif. <sighs> Honestly, that was, that was like what I had saved up for this. But, um, I figured you'd be done being Ridley by now. Ridley's tough. Wait, can you guys hear me? <clears throat> now we can. <laughs> I'm talking right into the mic, so... Uh... Let go of me, Ridley! I don't want to be raped! Sure, why no. the fuck not? Hey, Proteus, take the save stage. Not now, he's almost dead, isn't he? Uh, yeah. Okay, oh, this is... This is ridiculous.
Ridley has Dude, like... why don't you just do a crystal flash when you're in there? Oh, Because he had nothing. He was out of everything. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm actually... Uh, let me see. I've got plenty of fan fiction here. No, no, no. I think that you should focus on taking the save state, like... Fuck I'll that. Fuck! I'm not gonna beat him if I don't get save uh, states. <laughs> I was bad enough at Ridley in the original Super Metroid. I'm really bad at Super Ridley. Fuck. Screw attack. Well, he's screw attack in the air. He can't hit you. He... He just hit me. He's just screw attack on his tail. His tail will hit you. He shot me up. I'm not- I have- my Ridley strategy is just to shoot shit like crazy. It doesn't really work. That was the strategy he used in the fanfic, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Ridley seemed to be afraid of power bombs, though. He kind of ran away. So, what's, like, hard about this boss fight? Is it the room played out weird? What? <sighs> no, it just sucks. Yeah. Okay. I remember Ridley just being a big war of a Alright, get ready, dude. Charge, we've got this. Alright, um... Guys, I have a surprise for you. Back to you stuff. Yes? Uh, I actually know the writer of that fanfic that Proteus just read, and, uh, he's, he's in the call right now. Are, are you there? Hey! Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing alright. How'd you guys like my fanfiction? It was amazing. I... Oh my god. I've, I've dude, been with I a lot like of women. times. And, yeah, I've been with like a lot of women in my time, and I never thought that a work of fiction could feel more satisfi satisfying than that. Well, I have to do a, I have to do so much research. I had to stare at Ridley top shots for hours, looking for inspiration yeah. in that tight little spacesuit of his, which he does not wear. But I imagined him wearing it, and there was a nice little groupers there. And the thing is, the thing about Ridley's penis is it's not shaped like the normal mammalian penis. It has yeah. its own bone. And one of the great things about that bone is when you snap, when you hit it, it has the exact tune of an E flat. Not so much detail about the, about the bone, but it is quite possible to tune your instruments to such that it wow in half step. Another thing I like about Ridley's penis is there are, it's not scaly like the rest of his body. It's almost like a slug. Anyway, I hope I, I hope that was informative. But, it um, was, it really was. This um, was actually now, more informative than Drusev was about the hack itself. <laughs> now, now, obviously you did a lot of um, research before you started writing this. Did you study any paleontology at all? Because it sounds like you're very familiar with uh, dinosaur anatomy. Oh, well, actually, I dug up several dinosaur bones in my backyard. Believe it or not, I actually found a fully intact wilby skeleton. See, the thing about Metroid is, it really happened. I don't think a lot of you are aware of this, but dinosaurs existed solely for the purpose of destroying Samus and Ram, who existed 65 million ago. Now, one of the weird things about Metroid is it did not happen in the future. It happened in the past. Really? Yes. So how did, how did they have like, spaceships? Are we talking like the Paleozoic period or Mesozoic uh, somewhere around there? Exactly around that time period. Now, okay. scientists want you to believe that jellyfish have been around for millions of years, but this is in fact incorrect. Metroids are the ancestor to the jellyfish. Holy shit, dude. I did wow. not know that. That is... Yes, it's part deep. of an overarching fan fiction I am right now, writing right now called Samus Aran Gets Fucked by a Jellyfish. <laughs> does it span 65 million years? Yes, it does, actually. Excellent. So Samus Aran gets cryogenically frozen, and I don't know. I'm still working out the bugs, but at one point, in one scene, she sticks her blaster right inside a jellyfish, and the jellyfish is screaming, Oh, fuck me harder! Fuck me harder, Samus Aran! Fuck me with your big blaster! And Ridley comes out of nowhere, and it just starts fucking Samus, and Samus starts to like it. You know how girls love it when you rape them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of the greatest things. Oh, yeah. Now, let's... I've, one of the fascinating things, I think, about your fiction is that while it is a fictional sort of story, it happens in these historical contexts. So are you going to try to get it published in any scientific journals, or are you going to stick more with um, fiction publishers? Or maybe that's Unfortunately, there is a gigantic Jewish conspiracy right now, like, happening right now, that prevents my work from being entered into nature. And really? I am trying very, very, I am fighting vehemently in the Supreme Court, which is going to be hearing my case in approximately 10 years, it's still going through the district court, so you know, you know how long that time is. Oh, yeah. But I am going to get that published in nature. 
It's a, it's a, it's crunch, encroaching upon my rights as a freelance paleontologist slash fan fiction writer. Were you a paleontologist before you went into writing, or was it the other way around? I was freelance. I was a freelance writer, and then original, and then I discovered the Ridley bones in my backyard. Don't you dare try and ask to find them for me, or a picture, or proof, or anything like that. Otherwise, you're just gonna steal them from me. Now, did you? How much hands-on experience did you have before writing this? I mean, did you shove the Shit. Ridley cock fossil up your anus or anything I, I like that to it. experience the sensation, or did uh, you an just guess? An interesting question is right there. And um, mm -hmm. as I mentioned before, using Ridley's penis bone, if you will, mm -hmm. you can actually tune your instruments, and that's where my original, my first Ridley experience occurred. Really? So yes, I, I have, and I fucked it several times. I the emulator crashed. I put it in my ears. I put it in my nose. I ground it, I stabbed it in my heart, I fucked my heart for a while, then I sewed it back, back up. Right. Okay. okay. Anyway, I think I have another expert on the situation right now, and his name is Cynic, so if you'd like to add him to the call... Absolutely, I'm, I'm on it right now. Wasn't he your publisher or editor? Was it one Actually, of he knows a lot about cats. Oh, shit. Oh, cats, okay. So Actually, he could, he's, he's definitely a good source consult. Actually, I'm talk to you for your, a second. Your contact is what right here. Uh, uh, Cynics, the emulator Cynics, crashed. Welcome to the... Shut up. Hold on. Axial, what a... How the, far are you? Are you dead yet? The emulator crashed and Proteus is getting back in. All right, all right, we'll in. load back up. But we want to hear more stories about uh, about how. This, <coughs> yeah, this is it. fascinating. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm astounded. Yeah, Proteus, you get the emulator back up running with Axial and just. Uh, We're there. Talk. What are you guys doing? Uh, we've got uh, the uh, writer of a, a historical fan fiction who says that uh, mm -hmm. you're connected to it in some way. He says you know a lot about cats. He loves cats. Oh. We, we, yeah. we, we want some of your cat uh, background to help sort of shed some light on this uh, this fascinating story that we've been reading. Really? I got a lot of cat stories, so... I mean, cat I could stories? go on and on, yeah. Please now, do. Talk about the Well, I have, cat. like, five cats, and one of them throws up a lot, and... Now, I'm um, curious. Are we, are we recording right now? Yes, we are. I hope not. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Are recording? Okay, good. Yeah, we've been okay, recording. Okay, well, I'm glad we're recording because I had another question I wanted to ask. Now, um, Cynics, you and Mr. Pasta had a collab... Was, this was a collaborative effort, is that correct, in writing the story? No, um, actually, I, I just drew upon the cats. I drew upon I did some stories. concept art, because that's what mm -hmm. I do, but um, I'm not sure... Did you use the concept art, I think? Um, I used the concept art... The, the concept art that you drew of Ridley's pe of me tuning my piano to Ridley's penis... Because you, as as I as I spoke to you, before, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't sure if you were going to use that or not. Well, I mean, I do. I did a lot of like thumbnails to get ready for right. that one. So. Now, well, Nastinix, you said you were a cat expert. Was your concept art of Ridley's cock? Was it? Was Ridley's cock supposed to resemble a feline in any sort of way? Well, it purrs, but that's it purrs? I just like cats, so you know. Does it have feet or anything like that? Does it always fall on its? Uh, well, it, it has fur, stuff? but it's mm -hmm. not. It doesn't really look like a cat, it kind of acts like a cat, if you know what I mean. Okay. Does it rub up against you? Well, basically, you need, to, you, you need to let the, let Ridley's cock pet you. I mean, I'm not, not the writer here. I'm cock. just, you know, art. I just sound, it sounds like extensive research is going into this. It sounds very it professional. Has. Well, extensive research needs to go into any work of fan fiction, isn't that right, Mr. Pasta? Uh, that is 100% fully correct. For yeah. instance, my Bubble Bobble Full House fan fiction. I played Bubble Bobble for close to 40 hours before even touching the keyboard. And in addition to that, I watched a whole four episodes of Full House. That's a lot of episodes. Uh, Mr. Yeah, Pasta, I'd just like oh, to interrupt wow. you for one second to uh, actually thank you for that fan fiction because it was the subject of my senior thesis, my senior English thesis. Oh, thank you. What did you... What yeah. did you write on? What was the topic of discussion? What, what, what I, interpretive analysis? Come on. It, oh, it was about the social ramifications that Full House characters have on the world of paleontology, like how, how those interactions with dinosaurs reflect how paleontologists work with fossil digging. You got it. You yeah. got it. Yeah. Thank you. It's not. It's not. It's not condoning or glorifying childhood rape. Not at all. Yeah. I didn't think it was at all. I didn't think it was in your vision at all whatsoever. I thought it was much more educational and was designed to make you think about you know, these sorts of relationships that happen. Yeah. And, uh, these, Stephanie these, Tanner was mm -hmm. definitely a metaphor. Yeah. These, these right wing pussycats think, oh my god, child molestation. This is wrong. When they don't look at it at a deeper level. Now I, for one, am sick of it. I'm really glad you uh, backed my thesis like that. I just like to say it's really honorable. Fuck. I just feel like um, oh, I, I feel like I got it right. I, I actually had a question. Oh boy! I noticed that the 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 Bubble Bobble fanfiction was also about dinosaurs. 
Um, are Ridley and the Bubble Bino Bobble Dinosaurs, are they related? That's an interesting question, but unfortunately I have not written any Bubble Bobble fanfiction at this time. I'm only good at crossover fiction when it comes to Bubble Bobble, but I am, in fact, working on a Bubble Bobble script, but it's it's in, it's in working stages right now. I don't want to get yeah. into it. Are you going to sell that to Michael Bay, maybe? Oh, 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 oh that's, that's the ultimate goal, my friend. <laughs> Now, you, you mentioned crossover fanfiction. Does this stem from your personal beliefs that dinosaurs can't interact with each other alone, that they need uh, more human sorts of contacts in order to survive in today's society? Now, one of the great things about dinosaurs is they can exist in your imagination. And they can do anything you want. They, anything you want to you, for you, at you, with you. You can play on a swing. You can fuck their tails with your booty. Sure. You can do anything you want, until sure. the point of vomiting. So, does that mean that this fanfiction you wrote about Ridley fucking a deceased Samus, is that your idea of the ideal sexual experience? U ultimately, yes. So, okay. What I enjoy most is a dead woman in a suit of armor getting fucked by a, by a guy like that. I, feel, I do believe that is the contemporary American dream myself. Uh, I believe so, too. That I mean, is like, my ultimate goal in life. In fact, that's, uh, thinks... that's what I intend to write my um, graduate final uh, project on, actually, using oh, that yeah, as the uh, background. You, you're, you've got a ticket to anywhere you want to go in the country, if you write that. I think so, too. I think it could open a lot of this off. I've actually got a question for the writer, myself. Uh, I'm really curious, has there been any more like, you know, recorded events in history of women in armor being raped by giant dinosaurs? Well, Joan of Arc was, in fact, raped by Ridley at the stake. See the flames that we're talking about? That was, in fact, Ridley's fiery cock going inside of her over and over again. Oh, that makes so much sense. Oh, yeah. Did Ridley's cock cause the Great Flood? Ridley's cock actually did. You see, but the thing is, there was nothing sexual about that. Ridley simply wanted to urinate, and he did not manage to get to the ocean at time. Okay. Now, the puddle that was caused by Shit! Ridley's cock was, in fact, not the entire world as the Bible would lead you to believe. It, in fact, only flooded the Black Sea. But in order for the religion to propagate, they had to make it seem as if the flood from urine's cock Urine's cock. That's right. He calls his cock urine. I'm sorry. I need to clarify that a little bit. But anyway, Black Sea is filled with urine's with urine's piss. Now I heard um, I heard an interesting theory that actually Jesus was crucified on the cock of Ridley. Is that no, this true? is this is very true? But the only deal is um, this was at a time when Ridley was in his early development stages, so his penis was not on fire. It was simply smoldering, so, um... Oh, oh okay. That explains now, a lot. how much was, in your fanfiction, how much of the image of Ridley was based off of historical canon, and how much was based off your own personal vision as to what Ridley and his cock looked like? Well, in, it was, it, it's not a true work of fiction. It's more of a, an interpolation of uh, events that I have seen through my work in my backyard. Digging up Ridley skeleton, finding artifacts on pieces of paper written in apparent Ridley tongue. I can't I can't decipher the text completely, but I believe it lasts that long. Yes, it does. As a matter of fact, is it like it's on, something it's you need the Rosetta Stone for? Maybe this is that's uh, actually. Do you remember the Dead Sea Scrolls? Yes, that's yes. what. That's exactly what I found in my backyard. Oh, I see. <laughs> and it was now, all about Samus getting fucked by Ripley. Now, when you first dug, when you when you discovered Ridley Scott, did you have some kind of insider vision that made you suddenly realize, yes, I want to write this fan fiction about really raping a dead Samus, since you worked in more paleontology field before? Well, initially, I was I was impressed by the fact that I found such a fantastic specimen. I did not think um, at that time that I should write the fan fiction, but as right. I was tuning my piano with his penis, I realized that I could not express my joy in mere music. I had to share this story with the world. And then, as I stared at that cock, I started sucking on that bony cock, that ivory little wonder, and I noticed the engraving on it wrote, See Samus's Vagina. And that's what led me down this path. Oh, that's deep. That, that's the miss, that's really the missing deep. piece of this story is in Samus's vagina. Her pelvic bones will tell me everything I need to know. I have found that yet. Yeah. I have. I have to wonder, do you get offended when people call it fan fiction? Well, it's... I, I believe that it's hard for the non-believer to understand 
my work in its entirety. So the label fiction allows more people to view it, so because it does not bring into question their religious beliefs, their um, morals and values, and it's 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 just a way to get people more interested. Excellent. I I, I see your. Do you, would you find your story in the historical fiction section or the romance section of any bookstore? Uh, well, I, in all honesty, I, I I've seen I, I've seen poetry books in the garden section, so I don't really care. Mm -hmm. about it. Uh, I was just wondering where you tended to see it, just to wonder what others everywhere. would have classified your work as. They they classify it all over the place. I've only I don't have a lot. I don't have a very <laughs> great publishing network right now. It's kind of. Sad. How many people would you say have uh, purchased this uh, this excellent work? Uh, we've reached we've recently passed our 200th customer on my website www.ridleysucksamsdickassjesusdetranssexual in a big body cast. Oh, uh, actually, <laughs> actually read about that. Uh, wasn't your 200th customer a Mr. Uh, was it Crocon? It, it was. It was Mr. Crocon. Yes. Okay. Crocon, I, I, I believe. I believe he's here to uh, talk about that. What? Somebody call me. Yes. Oh, wow. As Remember when you bought that fan fiction from me? Oh, definitely. It, it was a uh, customer. Yeah, I got a special reward from it too. Uh, so much so I don't quite remember what it was. Uh, actually, what I did was I gave him a slight, uh, a, a little powdery substance from Ridley's bony cock. That's I, what I, oh. I I heard that you had pieces of Ridley's bony cock that you discovered from archaeological dig. I did, and um, I assembled them, and as I began to beat it off, it still spurred out of powder, which leads me to believe that Ridley's bones, and especially his penis bones, in fact, possess some sort of mystical power that I have yet to determine exactly which is. Well, that raises a lot of interesting questions, like, does the powder of Ridley's cock have any potential medicinal properties that you've discovered? Does it heal any wounds? Possibly like the Fountain of Youth. Well, maybe? crack on. Yeah. As, I, as I knew, you wrote to me saying that you were on your deathbed, uh, stricken with AIDS, and now how are you feeling? Oh, I'm good as new. I could be better. No, I'm not, I'm not saying all for the Ridley's... power of Ridley's cock. So Ridley's cock saying... cured your AIDS? Oh yeah. Fuck. I'm not making You're... that. I'm not drawing exactly. that conclusion. Fuck. But I am saying it is an awfully uh, obvious coincidence, and I think yeah. it requires more investigation. Mm, Personally, I believe that that's why Jesus came back to life. I mean, because you by anyone on that cock, they're going to come back to life. Okay. Despite the extreme. I mean, bam, you got some whole religion based on. Ridley Scott. Hmm. I can so see that. Now, whenever you're doing the crucifix symbol on your face, children, at home, <laughs> think of Ridley Scott. How many people Absolutely. do you think uh, will convert to that religion? I mean, I'm sure it'll be popular. It's well, actually religion? Like uh, Christianity? No, the. Church of Ridley Scott. The Church of Ridley Scott. Christianity? Oh, the uh, CRC. Yeah, yeah the CRC. Are you playing Super Metroid redesign still? Yeah. Yeah. We're still wow. fighting Ridley. That game is pretty terribly. Ridley's cock needs to needs to make more of an appearance in the Metroid game. Well, I mean, he's got a big long tail. I just assumed that was not actually a tail. I, I didn't really uh, think there was enough nudity in that wrong time, personally. Drew Seth, can you make oh. a Super Metroid redesign thread where Miss Samus is naked? Yeah, I'm... yeah, yeah, of course. I'll build the patch tomorrow. Great, thank you, no, Mr. No, Mr. Posto, I know you've dabbled in some ROM hack design yourself where you make, um, hacks of that sort. I mean, have, you had trouble, hack. have you had trouble cre creating a true Ridley's cock presence in video game hacks? I know you tried it in a Zelda game. I think there was a Bubble Bobble hack you tried uh, to do that was instead of shooting bubbles, they shoot giant Ridley cocks. Um, oh, one of the hard things about that is Ridley's cock does not encase enemies. It instantly destroys them, so it made the game far too easy. I decided not to post the ROM, but I did post screenshots of what I had done. I see, I see. Did, uh, did many people go for it, or did it just oh. kind of fall under? Uh, no, no, but it, there didn't seem to be that great of an interest. Yeah. Not as funny. much as your fanfiction? No, no, they, they prefer reading about Ridley Scott as opposed to playing with Ridley Scott. Why do you think that is? I think um, a lot of it has to do with the fact that that is a virtual experience versus actually feeling with their hands. As they're playing the video game, they start to want Ridley's cock more and more. And they can't have it because it's all mine. And I gave a little bit of crap. A teeny tiny powdery set. And yet sure. that was still enough to cure his age. Absolutely. And That's I just amazing. don't I don't want the government to get uh, to get a hold of this. Have you tried doing other things with the cock in its entirety <laughs> since a small piece can apparently cure um Autoimmune deficiency syndrome. Well, I will say that I wrote a majority of the fan fiction that was read in this video while Ridley's cock was inside. Oh, okay. 
So it acts as sort of a muse. Just a divine Oh my god, I fucking killed him! He killed Ridley, congratulations. Did you did you put the Ridley cock I sent Get you when you were asked as you were fighting? Grab the cock. Yes I did, and it really helped. Get a fucking save state. Alright, let me ask you this. Um when Ridley's cock was in you, did you feel anything special? Um, initially, no, oddly enough. I guess it, it took a long while for the bone to osmos through my anus and travel through my body. But as soon as the bone mm -hmm. reached my uh, medulla oblongata, mm -hmm. um, inspiration took over and I was flying at the keys. Medulla oblongata still went pretty far up there, then. Wow. It, it definitely did. Hmm. Did you have trouble removing it after, after you were... The, the hardest part was attempting to remove it, because when you have something that powerful inside of you, you do not want to let it go. But, mm -hmm. I realized that, um, too much of a good thing is always bad. Did you try maybe other orifices to see if maybe you'd get a different result? As I mentioned before, I had tried the nose, and, um, oddly enough, all of the mucus inside of my nose simply vanished. Why this happened, I do not know. It's a miracle. It Have there been any ill side effects to the continued presence of Ridley's cock in your uh, environment? Uh, the the biggest consequence I can see is as you if you have it in your anus for more than approximately 4.5 days, your nails begin to become claw-like, and I'm assuming this is some sort of a sign that Ridley wants to be reborn, right? Through the person that he's fucking, which leads me to believe that perhaps Samus Aran is one of of Ridley's progeny. Every single time in a video game in which she fights Samus Aran, Ridley gets fucked up. Well, except when Axie was playing, of course. Yes, right. well, except for right now, when I just killed Ridley. By the way, where are you, Axie? Uh, it doesn't matter. I, 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 I can't uh, get out of- Do you believe I, that Ridley can really die? I can't get out of the room I'm in. I he'll be back. He'll Ridley be back. evaporates. His soul lives on, and he comes back as soon as he finishes fucking someone. But yeah, I can't I get out of the room I'm in. <laughs> Did you get the E-Tank? Yeah, I did. Actually, I think right now would be a good time to stop the video. They, so... Go to get the save station. This has been a very enlightening video. I did. Video. So, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. I, I guess before the video ends, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Pasta for coming in and uh, interviewing us, and thank you for your glorious work. Yeah, this has, been, uh, this has been really you know, enlightening. Yeah. Uh, it was entertaining. Thank uh, you so I, much. I've learned a lot, Excellent. guys. I think we've all learned a lot. So, uh, I learned a lot about myself. Thanks, we guys. shared, we felt, we hugged, we loved.